Okay, let's talk a little about iOS and advanced recovery, but please, before, let me introduce myself. I'm Luca Cadonji. I'm a digital forensic examiner from Italy. I'm also uh, a lecturer at European uh, Forensic Institute, and I'm very focused on uh, mobile uh, forensics and uh, uh, and on uh, um, and on iOS, iOS, iOS too. So let's talk a little about iOS, which is the mobile operating system developed by Apple. It was introduced in um, 2007, derived from because for the i devices, uh, iPhone. Uh, iPods, and now the basis for three, up, three other Apple mobile operating system, iPadOS, TVOS, and WatchOS. Okay, it's the second most installed mobile operating system in the world, it's the first after Android. There are philosophical differences be between iOS and Android. Android is open source, great adaptability, and a total coverage of the mobile market while iOS built for only uh, top of the range performance devices and Apple maintained uh, a control, a total control of its software and hardware. Uh, iOS file system is where our data is stored. So it's interesting uh, to us like for, um, as a forensic examiners um, because uh, as two partition, a system partition, with a little evidence or information, a user partition, which stores the, all the user created data, and it's usually the primary source of forensic evidence. Every app in the every app installed on iOS uh, on iOS devices is identified by a bundle ID, which is a globally unique identifier, which is uniquely generated when an app is per installed, you can see it on the right, okay? Some bundle IDs for several applications. Mm, WhatsApp, which is the, <laughs> the most common, the most uh, used cross platform instant messaging application, doer, the, sub, the subject of our in investigation tonight. It's uh, available for iOS, Android, and KOS, but uh, it has some uh, characteristics which are very interesting when it's come to store data on uh, iDevice. So let's see some. Uh, WhatsApp is, is the most common in the world. And um, it's interesting because it stores uh, everything about, about uh, messages, attachments, settings in this database, chatstorage.sqlite. You know that in mobile forensic SQLite database are crucial, are very, very important uh, because they store a great part of the data that we are, you, we are going to analyze. Uh, in this, uh, in this uh, database, we have two tables of interest. Uh, the one which is uh, uh, the message is the one related to message themselves. So um, the messages, the sender ID, the recipient ID, the timestamp, okay. Um, but uh, it's one media item, which is the table that store information to the shared media or the attachment. It's far more interesting when it comes to recover uh, deleted evidences. So let's see why. Okay. Um, you know that WhatsApp user can exchange location information. We are not uh, really interested in uh, <laughs> at this moment, but they, they are in uh, they do are in uh, real life and also taking share medias medias uh, documents photos videos uh, sound recording so um, it's interesting because uh, uh, it has a mechanism to store uh, exchange data shared data some folders uh, which is uh, um, illustrated in this slide in this slide so you can see the private chat in, for which data is stored in subfolders under media, contact phone number, um, slash uh, at s.whatsapp.net. Why group store uh, shared data 
in subfolders under media graphs created for number graph establishment timestamp at the dot us. Okay, so it's, it's, it's interesting if you see that, uh, let's, see, uh, let's see better in this slide, that uh, the full part of the third data uh, revealed um, the center or the recipient of the file. Okay, so this is uh, um, another file, uh, which is actually stored, which is not, not deleted. The messages itself is not deleted, but we'll take it as an example. And we know that this uh, audio file has been sent, received from a number which start with plus nine, which is in the international prefix for Italy, between nine, et cetera, okay? So let's think about this. We know that in a, the part, the part of the storage exchange of media, we have um, interesting information about the user or the sender, actually the phone number um, itself itself. So it would be very useful for us if our database kept track of the path of the exchanged files. Okay. This way um, we can relate deleted conversation in which multimedia files were exchanged and then they could be retrieved by identifying the user with which the file were exchanged. Okay. Let's see when we can extract this type of information. And we have to look at another database. Kit underscore location dot db is a very, very uh, interesting forensic source with, uh, I don't think it's, uh, it's um, it, it has been very well studied so far. Uh, it's a database which store um, all the changes, uh, um, all the local changes not yet uh, uploaded, the pending sync operation, um, to, uh, which um, and it's used by CloudKit, which is the cloud-based service uh, which Apple provides to developers to build and integrate the cloud service or the cloud. The cloud is the cloud of uh, of Apple, of iOS, and uh, macOS itself. And this database store uh, all the changes that have to be committed on the, uh, on CloudKit. It's very interesting, and uh, it's not always present. It's present only if uh, a cloud backup option is enabled. It requires a full file system acquisition, so is not stored in iTunes or a cloud backup, and it has two tables interested uh, for recovering deleted WhatsApp conversation, but also 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 other interesting uh, tables. You can see the tables in cloud underscore cache db uh, the, on the left on this uh, on this slide. It's, it's a DB browser for SQLite, um, the application from which I've taken the, the screen. So let's see these two tables. Interest, tables of interest. One is files, and this files table has a column which is called deleted, which has two values. Here, one, two, all files. So not, not, not only WhatsApp files, but um, we're interested in, in WhatsApp at the moment, but um, all the files that, um, that the files that have been deleted uh, have a value of one. So we have a column that stores the relative paths and the, uh, the status, so if it is deleted or not deleted. I've highlighted in yellow um, files because you know that every uh, our, uh, video or image file uh, exchanged as a, 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 a got some files. Um, so we have a lot of big cases and uh, we see uh, we're interested only in town files, which does not have a duplicate. Okay, so we we, we don't want to uh, have results crowded with duplicates. So 
we limit our analysis uh, to exchange of media files, so PDF, uh, .opus, MP4, um, or, or a JPEG, but only to some files which does not have a duplicate with different extensions, for example, MP4 or JPEG. Another table of interesting is um, place we always on the relative part. Yes, you can see that we, uh, if we analyze the file system, we find evidence of these files only in this database, okay, in the cloud kit underscore cache dot db. This is the output for the search for um, search uh, performance using oxygen forensic. Okay. If we come to file changes, the other table of the cloud kit underscore cache uh, dot db, uh, we have a similar column, which is called relative patch. And I also um, want to show the size, just to know the dimension, okay, of, of the deleted, of the maybe deleted file. And yes, if we have, uh, if we choose to uh, return values, which has a size greater than zero, we, we can see all the relative path um, records related to the exchange of file. Okay, uh, we have also duplicates with our single point. Uh, you, know, uh, you can see that in this, uh, in, this uh, in, the, in, every, in every record, okay, so in every row, uh, we have a different number. This is anonymized, so I uh, substitute the first fourth. The first four characters with zero, but actually these are real phone numbers. Uh, and then this database, which is completely different from the uh, chat storage dot uh, SQLite, which is the the real uh, WhatsApp communication database, uh, we have a lot of information about uh, exchanged media, and not only about uh, the files, but also. Uh, information about the sender or the recipient of the files. So uh, let's see how we can connect these results with the mega item table of chat storage SQLite. So we have to work with uh, SQLite, which is the <laughs> is the is quite common in mobile in mobile forensics. So it's very important to to know how how um, SQLite. And the tables work. So uh, we can create um, we can uh, create uh, a query, okay? Uh, and we see that each row in the Dvar media item table represents a media item. So uh, we know that data missing from from the from from media local app of chat and storage just like but present. The relative part of files and file changes represents evidences of deleted chats or deleted messages in which user exchange media. Okay? Because um, every the, the column, the, the rows actually present in the uh, chat story SQLite are not deleted, but if they are missing from the chat uh, story SQLite, which display the actually. Uh, present um, the actually present uh, messages. If these messages are not present in chat storage collide, but they are present in a relative path uh, in cloudkit underscore HTB, uh, we can try to uh, understand which media were uh, exchanged and uh, most of all, uh, who, with who, who, okay, so uh, which was the sender or the recipient of the exchanged medias, because you know that there is the phone number in the um, in the record, okay. In this case, the record is uh, is in the columns relative, right? okay. So we can try to create a first Python script that compares the results. Of the WhatsApp media path in cloud key underscore cache dot tv and chat storage uh, dot sqlite. 
values not available in that storage at Qlite correspond to deleted messages related to the exchange of uh, media files. So let's see the result. Uh, should play. Okay. Let's see. This way we are asking uh, JavaScript to return all the uh, extra um, media files which are not present in chat storage.sqlite but actually present in the cloud kit underscore location db. These files are retrieved from the cloud kit underscore location db and they are no more present in WhatsApp, in chat storage. Um, dot SQLite and in the part of every uh, file we can see the phone number so we can relate uh, a file to a phone number but we can also um, retrieve evidences related to uh, deleted chat so we have some messages deleted with these phone numbers okay let's move on we can modify the previous script uh, to display phone numbers that have deleted message in cloud kit underscore cloud kit underscore db on the number of deleted messages. So we just want to make a little statistic just to know, for example, which is the, mm, the number with which the great part of the deleted messages were exchanged. Uh, I repeat, deleted messages related to the exchange of file. Okay. So let's see if it works. I hope so. Okay. This is a little bit statistic. We see that uh, in the same order. Okay, we have all the messages. The number of messages related to exchange of media and the phone number with which these files have been exchanged. Okay, so it's quite interesting because maybe we want to prove that um, some people have a certain conversation and maybe they have deleted the conversation workshop, but if they have been exchanging media, the media, uh, we can try to. Uh, retrieve evidences of the exchanges of messages and of videos. Okay, we can also uh, do a little more. We can do um, the inverted process. We can enter a phone number and see how many messages uh, and uh, um, related to which uh, medias have been exchanged. So. Okay, I will enter uh, a phone number of interest. And this is the output. Okay, so this is the output. And these are all the exchanged medias that are actually um, with have, uh, an actual reference in CloudKit underscore KHDB. But uh, in this file, this file, these entries, these records are no more present. At storage.sqlite. This doesn't mean that these files renamed are not stored in the iOS, iOS gallery. Absolutely. And we can try uh, also to map this file and to see if some of these files uh, is still present in the iOS gallery. And uh, you know that Apple is the is a part of the management and any application developed by Apple uh, for iOS devices. And yeah, the, iOS, the iOS gallery um, files are managed directly by Apple Photos. And Apple Photos, as every application on uh, our devices, uses a SQLite, an SQLite database. In this case, it's called photos.sqlite which contain a lot of interesting information. One uh, or two uh, really, really interesting information are if you take a look on the left, the album, in this case WhatsApp, 
but also the original file name. And when we talk about the original file name, uh, we mean the original name of the file uh, when it was exchanged. So when, if you see this file, this file has been renamed in uh, I, 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 ing underscore 0707.jpg when it was saved in the iOS gallery, but the original file name was um, really longer. It was A2321.jpg. And this is the name that we expect to find in a storage just storage.sqlite or in cloudkit underscore case dot so let's see what we can do with this information. We can do a query, we can always uh, create uh, a query um, in mobile forensic. In this case, um, we are uh, asking for uh, file names of um, name store in the table they are okay and also uh, some um, information about the time the file was handed to the IS gallery the creation time uh, of uh, of the file and then uh, we can make another query uh, to check for uh, another um, another uh, our table, which is uh, the additional asset attributes, which is a, a, a column which is full of metadata. Okay, in this case, the metadata uh, that we find very interesting are the model ID or the imported by in our case WhatsApp, but also the original file name, which is the value we expect to find in a uh, cloud kit on the floor. HDB and cut storage at QLite, and also the exit time. Okay, um, so we can uh, see how we can integrate this information to retrieve far more information about deleted um, messages, deleted shared media messages uh, in WhatsApp. Okay, in this case, we have this, this, na this name, uh, 2381. Which is which has been renamed okay in image underscore zero seven zero seven zero seven. We uh, then try to uh, associate uh, to the chart to the chart in which where it was exchanged, and we, it's quite simple. We can use a simple query. Okay, just uh, use uh, just use the original file name in the relative file, and we can see in the cloud kit underscore cache db um, uh, which was sent of the recipient. Or of the of the file, okay. So this is the phone number. We can um, also try to uh, retrieve more uh, more data, creating uh, a longer uh, script in which we can integrate all this information. So let's try to put it all together, and we want to parse uh, three databases: Lafty underscore KDB. Uh, chat storage.sqlite and photos.sqlite. So the cloud kit database, the WhatsApp chat database, and the uh, Apple Photos database. Okay, in total, we have five tables to parse. Um, we want to search for evidence of deleted WhatsApp chat, associate them with its phone number, and check for files from deleted WhatsApp chat still present in the iOS gallery. Because as you've seen with the file image underscore 0707, uh, these files were still present in the iOS gallery, even if the photo was deleted. Because you know you can send a, you can send a file, delete the chat, but um, if you have previously saved the file in the iOS gallery, or you can delete uh, a message after you have received a file, the file may still be present in the iOS gallery. So let's try to extract some information to the iOS gallery to see which, uh, which of these files are still present on the device. Okay, so let's, try, let's see a more complex and final script. Okay. Okay. 
the same, we run the script, the script uh, returns not only, okay, the phone number and the number of deleted messages, but also um, uh, we can, uh, the script uh, fills, okay, the, the extension of the files, of the files, see, for example, how many uh, audio messages have been exchanged, how many uh, MP4, how many JPEG file, how many PDF, for example. Uh, so um, we can also try to guess uh, which kind of a conversation um, has been uh, between, between the user and the recipient. Okay, uh, in this case, we have two files which are still present in the iOS gallery, okay? Um, image file and another file. If we uh, paste them or simply uh, enter a phone number, um, which we suspect uh, that uh, some exchange of media uh, has been, uh, we can try to, um, to enter and see if, some, if there are some evidences related to deleted medias, and also if uh, some of the medias are still present in the iOS gallery, okay? In the iOS gallery. In this case, we have also an MP4 and a DPEG, but you can see that uh, I've been um, exchanged to MP4 and to JPEG. So not all the files are still present in the, in the iOS gallery. Maybe they are just duplicated, so the user doesn't didn't want to store um, so also duplicate but we can try to uh, to integrate uh, these, uh, these elements in our investigation okay and try to uh, extract uh, the great part uh, as as many uh, as much data as we can from the cloud kit underscore uh, cache database uh, so what's next uh, Presentation want to be a starting point for new research. Uh, for new research, um, as I told before, uh, I think that this database has not been uh, studied enough uh, so far. So we can work and we can try to correlate and to cross-reference data from um, several databases. This is just an example, so you can. Uh, uh, do something like this on CloudKit underscore KHDB or use other databases and try to retrieve um, data which refers to, for example, deleted files or deleted um, conversation. If something is missing okay, from an iOS database, maybe it's still present in another iOS database, I think also, also uh, on Android. So cross-reference is the way, uh, at least in my, in my opinion. If you're interested in this script, you're in these Python scripts, you can find them on my GitHub. And uh, thanks for your attention.